All right, welcome to day nine. You can see in front of me here, uh, this is a pot. I just found this pot probably about half an hour ago. And the interesting thing is it kind of changed our square a little bit because it's deeper than what the floor was over where Marcia is sitting. And, um, <laughs> and so it, it makes our floor go a little screwy. Um, but what I want to do is I want to show you how we extract a pot from the ground. So generally at this level we're using these trowels, just like a mason's trowel, really it's all it is. And we'll uh, kind of pick at the ground. You gotta go really carefully because you want don't want to scratch it or anything. So you kind of pick it out. And then the first rule of doing really fine work is to use your brush a lot. Your brush is your best friend. Now we have two types of brushes. We have the large brush here, which I use for getting out generally, you know, huge areas of dirt. But then when I'm working near a pot, I like to use a paintbrush that I borrow from Dr. Hosel because that way the hard surfaces on the larger brush doesn't possibly break the pot. And what I'm doing here is I'm questing for the bottom of the pot because obviously this pot was broken by these rocks and uh, shattered and it was laying, it was setting here. So the only reason it could be sitting here is if it was sitting on a floor. So whatever is underneath this will be the floor of the square. So I'm questing for the spot where the pot uh, stops curving downward and, and begins to just rest upon a surface. And so you gotta kinda go, you wanna do some, get some of this other dirt out of here. And uh, the pottery, now in this case the pot is round, but you tell them the scratching they're hearing in the background is Marcia scraping oh. the ground. It's oh, that's okay. Horrible sounds. <laughs> it's it's a dig site. We got lots of work going on. Um, the pottery on a surface will be flat line pottery. So like you see this piece here that I discovered just a couple seconds ago while I was brushing and cleaning up my area. This piece is flat line, but it's not quite flat enough to satisfy. So it probably will just be pulled out and not considered on the surface. Um, because over the years you get a lot of pottery and junk that falls in down and all this dirt it came from somewhere else. And so pottery probably washed in from other parts of the dig site and that's why we'll get multiple eras. And we call that whole thing a fill locus and we just kind of uh, ignore it. We'll read it and we'll look at it and we'll say that's nice but then you just kind of leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, what we're really interested in is this stuff here that's laying on the surface itself. Okay, so it looks like I found... Let's see if that goes down anymore. Yeah, this looks like a spot where the pot is starting to curve around itself. So this is going to be the bottom of the pot. Here. And so when we dig out the rest of this, we won't dig any lower than what I've brushed away here. Because theoretically, this would be the living surface on which the ancient people would have walked and, you know, changed their babies and what have you. So that is how we extract a pot out of the ground.